Hi friends, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day so far. For today's video, I am watching The Nice Guys starring Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe. It's an action comedy, which I love, and I love, love, love Ryan Gosling. I am on such a Ryan Gosling kick lately. I didn't realize how much I love him as an actor, and the fact that he's gonna be in Barbie as Ken just makes me that much more excited, and I can't wait to see him in this film, and I hope you guys will join me. Thank you guys so much for being here. By the end of the video, you really enjoy it and want to help support the channel and help me continue doing what I love which is making which are making these videos I like can't I don't know what the proper English is then be sure to check out my patreon you're gonna have access to all my unedited reactions commentary and reviews to everything that I watch and yeah you get to vote and and tell me what to watch and I read through everything I read through literally everything you guys can message me give me all your recommendations whatever it re your opinions really do matter to me if that's something you're interested in be sure to check it out it really does help the channel so incredibly much um, and so I wanted to thank you guys Guys. I'm very excited. I've been wanting to watch The Nice Guys for quite some time, and so here we are. So let's jump right into it. Let's get into it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Whoa. Wait, this is like funky. What the heck? Violence, sexuality, nudity, language, and brief drug use. This could be a fun movie, huh? <laughs> I'm loving this like this like funky. Oh my. Mm, okay. Is this gonna be in the 70s? I'm waiting for that meaty bass riff to come in. This is gonna be fun. I already like the vibe. Just by the music. Oh, oh, this is so like 70s. 70s, ooh, I got it. Let's go. Oh no. Oh no, even the dog is crying. You didn't drink your orange juice and look at porn? That's what your agenda is for the evening, little boy? That's what you get for looking at porn. <laughs> for looking at a dirty mag at your age, illegal. That was a warning. <laughs> Wait, he looks really familiar. Was that the misty whatever? You were just looking at her naked on the magazine, and now you see her naked in person. This is gonna be. Her. How do you like my car, big boy? I just feel like he would be deterred from anything like that ever again. And that, kids, is what happens when you drive naked. You die. Bart has a plain towel. Sarah has a bright towel. Jonathan has a gay towel. There's something wrong with kids today. They know too much. Take this little gem. Oh, I love her hair. Already, she's got herself a winner. Sure, he's three times her age, but he's got money for pot. Russell Crowe, it's been quite some time. I don't have a job title, but if you got trouble with someone, you might ask around for me, Jackson Healy. Are you the man? What? So oh. deserved. Stay away from little girls. I was in love once. Not with anyone underage. Tell us a little bit about it. Take a look at this outstanding lineup we have here for you. I do have to ask you about the allegation. Tell me Ryan Gosling was the little boy that watched a naked lady die. This is your daughter speaking. As you may remember, it's my birthday. I wish I wished for things, man. They implemented a no-fault divorce here a couple years back. A lot of private cops folded. <clears throat> Not me. I got this guy in a local retirement park. It's my husband. Fred's his name. It's just Fred's never been gone this long before. Oh, honey. How long has he been missing? Since the funeral. Well, I can start right away. This case is never gonna end. Mr. Ely? Um, I think there's two of them, but I only have the name and description for one. Consider it done. Thank you. To beat other people up? Could try for an investigator's license. Those guys help people. Maybe then I'd feel... Oh, like look at the smog. She's wow. got dark hair. Name's Amelia. Oh, can't help you, buddy. My wife, she used to say, I make a living off Rumpy Pumpy. Whatever, she was English. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it means either. Any chance she paid with that credit card? Is there, am I gonna pull receipts for you? Is that a shirt? You I want it? Myself. Yeah. I actually had one friend that would make those, make like dollars like that, and then give them to me. It'd be so cute, like in high school. As long as you get the results. Oof. Maybe not your... 
Fish. Oh, I hate. Okay, so That's a lot of blood. That please, blood. please stop. I hate the, the, that sound. We're losing him. Go! Hurry up! Why didn't you just get like a rock? Are you willing to find God? I'm trying to find Amelia. Good morning, Los Angeles. The AQMD has cautioned residents not to stay outside or engage in unnecessary exercise before 6 p.m. The smog in LA is atrocious. Adult film star Misty Mountains, whose car went off road in the early hours of last Tuesday. Guess that wasn't Ryan Gosling. The quality of being calm and even tempered. He accepted her betrayal with equanimity. Jack, I'm fing your dad. Uh. The cars back then were so cool. Messenger service. Oh, he's gonna send a message, all right. What's the message? Stop looking for Amelia. I'm not even looking for Amelia. Old lady hired me to find her niece on Tuesday. You just gave up your client. I thought that's what you wanted. Oof. Now, I'm very sorry that you didn't get the message. But I get it now. <laughs> you do? When you're talking to your doctor, just tell him you have a spiral fracture. Deep breath. No. <laughs> you sound like Mario. Hi. Hey. Want to you who? I love you. Know you know. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Glass bottle? Didn't I see you crawling around a vacant lot a couple of blocks over? I read there sometimes. Thanks again. Bye. There's a process where you can put corn in and gas comes out. You got like an apartment up here? We're looking for Amelia. Not the you who's man. This is a high profile case. Your niece is a very famous actress. I never should have taken your money in the first place. I'm very sorry about that. Mr. March. <clears throat> no, this poor old woman. Oh no, I don't like this. Dude, have some, some respect, some morals. <sighs> Am I a bad person? Yes. yes. Just drive. And he's making her drive? <laughs> he's a terrible person. I would like to help you, but I just don't know anybody called Amelia. You don't talk! I'm gonna have to stop breaking your fingers. He looks like he got a little bit too much enjoyment from saying that. Watch him. That's not mine. It belongs to a friend. I just thought uh, I'd look after it for him, but it's one of those bags. If you try to open it... <laughs> you know that color doesn't come off, right? He looks like a member of the Blue Man group. Don't. Do not hurt the fish. You know, kid, when I get that gun off you, it's gonna be your dinner. Dinner. <laughs> Can you put the fish back in the water? Come on, Can you stop with the fish? This is not gonna help. There you go. No, come on. You're gonna eat that thing, you fucking f Look, was this what you wanted to happen? You pissed me off. You're a moron. Man, you're right. what? 70s were a wild time. Hmm. Jesus Christ, one at a time! You took the Lord's name in vain. I found it very useful, actually. Okay, Janet. Shut up, Janet. March, Jack Ely. Don't get upset, I'm not here to hurt you. <laughs> you don't need to keep the door open. It's like the worst place to approach someone. You think these guys are gonna hurt Amelia? After they're done killing her. That's surprising. I would have thought your job ended with breaking my f***ing arm. It, it did. I'm off the clock. I'm not buying this nice guy act, pal. The nice guy? Nice guys? Want me to finger her so you can uh, throw acid in her face? Well, no. No, she paid me up front. What it is for me is I like where I live, and I don't want to move. Two days in advance, plus whatever the old lady's giving you. You broke my arm. I quit, remember? Get back on the case. Wow, that is very telling. And you're gonna accept it. You have no morals. Last week, this old broad comes to me, and she asked me to find her niece, Misty Mountains. Misty Mountains? The old lady saw Amelia. Look who decided to show up for class. There's a gate guard. So I checked with him. I got the name. Three. Three days in advance if you want the rest of the story. I've only got 400. Put him. Jesus, what are you doing here? Giving you a rim job. M rim shot? You're the guy who beat up my dad. He just did it for money. You beat people up and charge money? So, um, how much would you charge to beat up my friend Janet? <laughs> no one likes Janet. 30 bucks? Hey, 30 bucks. Apple pie. Is she a big girl? Just eat That's good. This conversation no is over. It's a business meeting. What do you mean? No, oh, let's, let's beat up Janet. She kind of sucks. We find her earlier. I still get to keep it. Done. Because I already know where she is. Look at these idiots. <laughs> I 
love Ryan Gosling's attitude in this movie. This is so funny. This is Amelia's protest group. She's in there somewhere, so. She's holed up somewhere hiding. That's her protest group. Stop saying that. I hear I don't hear it's you hearing protest it. Group. Hey, Amelia. We can't talk to you. We're dead. I hope they're wearing sunscreen. I thought you were dead. All right, which one of you balls wants to make 20 bucks, huh? <laughs> They really have a way with words. Yeah, make a left here. Just pull over on the left. I like how he like does not hesitate to get into a car with these strangers. The 70s were a wild time. This is Dean's house. Do you even really know Amelia Chet? Dean had this whole room like filled with film stock. One day it just went up. Kid. Uh, what? You know the guy who lived here? Hey, he'll give you $20 if you answer. It's a porn magazine, kid. Thank you. Saw him making a film last month. Saw that famous chick. What famous chick? Dead one, Misty something. You talked to the producer, right? No, his name was Sid. Sid Hatrack. I offered to show my dick, because I got a big dick. We're done here. You guys want to see my dick? Nobody wants to see your dick, dude. Duck. <laughs> What's wrong with this kid? Go beat him up. He sucks, too. What was the name of that film? How do you like my car, big boy? One thing we know for sure, something funny's going on. It happens. It happened three days ago. Same day, Amelia fell off my radar. Let me tell you what two days of detective work looks like. You're gonna spend half the time interviewing the f***ing chats of the world. And when it's over, the only thing that's changed is that the sun went down twice. But you get paid. Sometimes. I wouldn't feel right accepting money for, like, knowing that the case isn't going anywhere. anywhere. I would not feel right. Like, this woman was throwing money. Sinchatic. Advertising that in public? 70s were a wild time. I wouldn't feel right doing that. I'm asking after a friend of ours, Amelia. I'm an old friend. Why don't we invite him in? No animals in the house, sweetheart. Okay. Thank you very much. They're getting ready for a party, and I asked about Amelia, and they said she'd be right back. Like she's been staying there. So he found her. Can you stay at one of your friends? I love his shirt. If I were a guy, I'd wear shirts like that. It's so cool. Go to Janet's. Jessica's. Which one's she? The one with the brown hair. And like the Hitler stash? What's wrong with her friends? <laughs> so, you know the old lady, right? Did you believe him? God, no. She has actual Coke bottles for glasses. I like how they're just like 70s. Play one song, Boogie Wonderland. Since I'm already Girl. here, you might as well take me in with you, right? I can't take your car like that. Stop it! Dad, there's like whores here and stuff. Just say, Dad, there are whores here. <laughs> no, I can help you. There's like a ton of whores here. <laughs> Wait, she's so funny. I freaking love this song. Well, we know Mary Jane turned up. Who's that? Marijuana pot. I can't smell it. What? I think this is gonna work better and faster if we split up. Wait, that's actually so cool, what? You uh, seem to have a very good vantage point up there. I lost my sister. Want another drink? I'm just leave the girl alone. This party looks like a good time, honestly. Everybody's just like chill. So many insane things happening at once, it's hilarious. I'm Amelia, she's about dark hair. And answers to, I forgot her name, but you know, if you see, let me know. Sussy. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> He's so messed up. He's messed up. I don't think you should be. A Move. You're in my way. <gasps> oh. That little girl's a minor. She put it on. Oh, do that to her then. Break her head on the glass table now. Do you by any chance know a girl named Amelia? I think she did a film with Sid Shad. Don't know her, but Sid's gross. He told me this one chick was his sister, right? And they're all doing anal and stuff. Gross. Really gross. Hey. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> what do you do? Do a little bit of acting. Me too. Hey, shoot me. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Oh no, and he's like really drunk. That's a problem. Scared me. No, I'm just looking for my gun. Oh, that's definitely gonna comfort her. I got it! <laughs> <laughs> Mark, Mark, she's our man. If he can do it, no one can. Um. <laughs> yay! Yay! Oh. That's Sid Shattuck. They said he was gross, so it's okay. <laughs> Before we go solving the crime of the century, 
Let's deal with the f***ing rotting corpse. I lost my gun. There was a girl. She can place me. Rolling down the mountain. Are you the one who's been asking about Amelia? What do you want with her? She's my sister. Two freaky guys were coming around. I'll take you to her. I wouldn't really... I don't know if I trust her, but okay. Did you fall down the hill? It was very slippery up there, okay? I was, I was in the pool. Why? <laughs> I had to question the mermaids. Let's get rid of this guy. Bruh, bruh, literally what? This one says she's Amelia's sister. Good times. Fight to the death. What a G! Amelia! Run! Girl in your trunk. She was in that car. <sighs> I would flip myself over into it, so it's like I'm always in the... I'm already in... I'm fully submerged, like... You get up. I'll shoot you in the... You'll never see me again. Where are you gonna be? Crash again. This can work. Hit him with the car. Hit him with Johnny's car. <laughs> nice. That was nice. Never mind. Well, stop f***ing around. Come on. Forgot he was drunk. Great! You guys are fast. I love how she, how she immediately tries to protect the little girl. We need to help him. We need an ambulance. Come see if you can flag somebody down. He's in a bad way. Oh, you ever hear of John Boy? Now he's gonna kill that private cop. You ain't got long to live. None of us do. Yeah, maybe his last words shouldn't be like threats. Didn't make it. Don't worry, Holly, it's just her dad drunk driving. And that'll be the cops. Oh, you already got our statements. Can I go see my daughter now? I was told to keep you here, so I'm keeping you here. Just following orders. You know who else was just following orders? Hitler. <laughs> it's not comparable at all. Don't. You're the, uh, the, the, the guy, the, the, the diner guy. Yeah. If you'll follow me, my boss would like a word. My name is Judith Kuttner. I work for the Department of Justice. Okay, well, that explains basically nothing. I'm Amelia's mother. And she doesn't want the movie coming out? That doesn't explain why she would want to kill Amelia. I'm so... Let them explain everything. Would you like a mint? I need your help. That's where I know you're from, right? The TV. You're prosecuting that, that car company. Yes, that's half my day. The other half I spend on pornography. What's your favorite? Uh, anti. Anti-porn. Right. Should I be writing this down? Yeah, write it down. And her daughter does it for a living. The Vegas mob is trying to spread its porn operation. I want to hire you both. <laughs> yes, I got it. <laughs> Can I take this? Fine. World's biggest ashtray. We're only here until we rebuild the old place anyway. It burnt down. I found this in Shattuck's office. When Amelia gave me your address, she gave it to me on a piece of paper like this. Can we talk about it tomorrow? We can do that. Aren't you that diner guy? I want to know. This asshole with a shotgun started threatening people. I love it. I love it? I took that guy out. Oh, I ended snap. up with a bullet in the bicep and 500 bucks of hospital bills. It was stupid, really. $500 of hospital bills? That's it? Best day of my life. He's gonna roll off into his massive ashtray. A moment I felt useful. Had Mademoiselle Blanche be I love that she's not afraid to be out at night. So nice. I'm scared of like going into my parents' like front yard at night or else I'll get like killed. You've got your foot in the toilet. I have. Different times. What? Your dad tells me you're rebuilding. Mom kept on complaining about a leak in the furnace, but dad, he couldn't smell the gas. Mr. Healy, are you a bad person? What did you do to that man tonight? I think she already knows. Did you kill him? Of course not. That's good. <laughs> How is he so, like, uplifting and high in spirits after all the trauma that he's been through? He's lost his wife, the house burned down, like, how is he just, like, so chill? Uh, we were at the bank, like, getting your money. There it is. Half. We stopped at a bar. That's why we're late. And that's why he's in high spirits. 
I figure she's trying to skip town. I say we wait a couple days, call Cutner, and see if we can squeeze the second installment out of her. I'm not gonna lie to her. I'll lie to her. You're the world's worst detective. I, I agree. Got a cool ad, though. Why do you have to be such a f up, huh? I'll find the girl myself. Of course, you're not gonna find her at the airport, seeing as how it's not a flight. That top number is today's date, but reversed. Holly, go to Janet's this time, but Jessica for real. Jessica, want your keys? I'm driving. So he redeemed himself. He's not a complete screw up. We're looking for the Burbank apartments. Tore them babies down. Um, going on about two years now. Why do you know the history of these buildings? You're just walking around. I guess he is in the neighborhood. Whatever. I thought he was just standing there watching the construction, the night construction. The airport then. <laughs> he was wrong. Nice. Pull over, man. Pull over. Hey. The Burbank Airport Western Hotel. She's meeting somebody. Good evening. You seen this girl? Nate, mine just work here. Yeah, no, it's Sherlock. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> yeah. Ow! The penthouse. The other guy looking for Amelia. He wasn't with you? Makes sense. What makes sense? John Boy. You should probably just stay here. Unless, of course, he's up there killing her right now. That would be national news. Yeah, so? Oh, so when's the last time you were on national news? February. For what? I get shot in the diner. I told you this last night. I don't know why Ryan Gosling's face, like, right there was so funny. Going on, what's going on here? Oh no! Oh no! You see the fear in Ryan's eyes? He's literally shaking. What are we doing? We can't just leave. That's you don't know. She She's like right there. Just load her up, bring her to safety. How did she fall that high off and, and not die? What? The? She got lucky. You got her. You're supposed to be a Jessica. Uh, yeah, sorry, Mr. March. My sister kicked us out. She's having a guy over. Your sister's such a slut. <laughs> <laughs> Your sister's such a slut. I made a film with Dean. Porno film? It's not a porno. My mother? He's a criminal. The automakers, she's gonna let him walk. She's gonna lie because she's on the take. Money again, right? Mammon, that's her god. That fascist, crony, okay, okay, bogart. All right, all right, right. Not a bogart. My mom found out, killed Dean, and destroyed the film. She killed Misty, too. And Sid Shattuck. She's really tired, you know. What do you think? I like her dress. It's a nice dress. It is, yeah. According to her, her mother's single-handedly gonna wipe out all of Western society. There are people trying to kill her, right? John Boy. He's on the Waltons. No, different John Boy. We think. I think, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I just got a call from Judith. Said she needed $100,000 in cash. I think she's involved in something shady, maybe? Her daughter certainly seems to think so. You found Amelia? She fell on her car. I'll send the family doctor, Mr. March. To Holland, please. She likes her. Be willing to carry the money for me. She's evil. <laughs> she's got no good intentions. I got a friend, right? Worked in Nixon detail. They come across this car accident, right? Nixon gets out, and then Nixon says to him, you're gonna be okay, son. Guy dies. He's lying there on the ground, staring up at the sky near death. Former President Richard Nixon appears before him and tells him he's gonna be fine. Now, does he think that's normal? Everybody sees Nixon. <laughs> you're expecting an angel and you get Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, like literally imagine, right before you die, you just see Richard Nixon. Well, you just leave me on this epic f***ing journey with the story and 10 minutes later the point is that there's two ways to look at something just you could just say that not the richard nixon angel one hundred thousand dollars packed it myself i'll call you you know when when we make the, the drop thank you you nervous at all imagine seeing richard nixon right before you die like your your life doesn't flash by before your eyes yeah. nothing just, an ankle gun no white light that just is an ankle gun nixon I'm falling asleep at the wheel here man the car can drive itself just take your hands off the wheel, man. What's happening right now? He just trusted it? Oh, okay. Idiot, you didn't know that? You fly everywhere, you don't even drive. He's got a point there, Bumble. Wake up! Wake up! March! There's no friggin' way, man. That's not money. Why would she send us off in some wild f***ing goose chase? To get Amelia vulnerable. Amelia. You must be Holly. She's inside. He gives me like 
Ashton Kutcher vibes. Holly, what's the name of the guy on the Waltons that plays John Boy? That shows for real. Would you like a cookie? I could be persuaded. It's gotta work fast. There are handcuffs behind the bar, asshole. Get them. Jessica, if you help me with this, I'll only kill Holly. Sucks for Jessica. Probably worst sleepover ever, huh? You hear that sound? That was me. You threw that little girl out the window. Holy he said that no sh so nonchalantly. Yeah, I threw that little girl through the window. Holly! Yes! Fascist! Jesus! Stay in here. Yeah, yeah, he Jesus! Tell Mr. Healy things for nothing. Oh my gosh, Amelia, you're so annoying. Why is why is she so difficult? They're gonna have so much explaining to do for their landlord. Like, they're never gonna be able to rent again. Shit! He's gone. Shit. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is awful. Friggin' knew it. Knew it. Please tell me they're at least going to question her. They haven't, and they're not going to. Your word against her is no evidence you lose. Go inside and get your stuff. We'll go stay in a hotel or something. What a cool dad. Kind of irresponsible and like, actually very respons irresponsible and bad, but like, still cool. He is supposed to be looking for my niece. Really? She was wearing a blue pinstripe jacket. I've seen that jacket, sure. What do you mean you saw that jacket? The Shaddock's office was there with a bunch of other clothes. That's the window! The desk was here. I don't know what to say. Dad, what are you doing? Oh, cool. You saw her on that wall at a desk in a pinstripe suit. It was a movie. The movie! Maybe, like, don't turn it on for the aunt. She had a copy. And she gave that copy to Misty and Amelia Splits. She was screening it for the distributors. Opening night, 9 p.m., Chet. Chet? What is Chet doing? The LA Auto Show. It's today, right? Does this mean that my niece is dead? Yes! She was murdered. But we're gonna bring down the people who did it. Yeah, and for a deeply discounted rate. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, he's such a terrible person. Ooh, love the teal, cyan, whatever. Love that on him. So good. He's probably still got it stashed somewhere. Oh my gosh. Tally, God, you look incredible. She, she does look really pretty. That's wonderful dress. Weapons on the floor now. You have really killed anybody. Three times. Really? You're not a murderer. She's kind of a murderer. One's a mistake. By the time you get to three, don't you're paint a murderer, her with that brush. Because it's easy to live in your world. Faces you don't know why she. Oh, sit. No. Did you move it? Move what? It's a ankle gun. Who told you I had an ankle gun? Did I dream that? Yeah. <laughs> Check out my ankle gun. Oh, yeah, you're right. That was Just awesome. shut up. Shut up, Holly. You can come in now. Very clever, Holly. How'd she get a table? Thought so. <gasps> I got it in the hallway. I thought it was hot. I like where your head's at, sweetheart. <laughs> Did she just knock herself out? Well, that really worked what? out. Now we just gotta find the f***ing Chet before John Boy does. Everybody just hates Chet, but for literally no reason. Hold on, kiddo. Thanks. Look, we got a problem on 9. Someone knocked over the projector. Okay, just wait here. I'm gonna take a look around. Promise me you'll get the film? Yeah, I promise. Pinky promise. What can I do you for? Three drinks, what do you have? No, those those are his magic words. I really like this movie. This is so fun. I'm having such a blast watching this, actually. I wish this one, like, some sort of pull sooner. Really deserves it. This is great. This is fun. Why didn't you guys vote for this more? I love this. Film is in the projector. Repeat, it's in the projector. On my way. I got a gun pointed directly at your daughter's spine. How's this song go? Welcome, Los Angeles, to the finest fleet of automobiles. Oh no, everybody's about to watch some porn. Oh no. Help him up. Oh my god. I love you, Doc. What? 
Oh no 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 no! Oh, he splatted. You poison our air. The people won't stand for it. It's always Nixon. <laughs> get Nixon, get away from us! Bro. Jesus! How'd you get down here? I told you to go to the roof. Did you fall? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the film? It's up there. Go get it. Give me that fing film. Hey, go! Go! I got this! Guy's brutal. Really brutal. Dude, what? what? You saw this man. Oh, oh, I thought he was a pedestrian that just like knocked into him. Never speak to you again. Aww. Come on, let's go down and see your dad. They have their proof. You really think you've got something done here? It's good for Detroit. It's good for America. But it's all right for you to fail your daughter. Detroit had her killed. The city got together, took a vote. Big turnout. <laughs> You're going to jail, Miss Cutner. I'm not there to take care of it. Someone else will be. We shall see. Jesus. Where is he? Must be so weird. Christmas? It's so warm out? I'm gonna let them off. The car company scot free. Not enough evidence of collusion. I heard. I'd be angry forever after this. Five years, tops. We're all driving electric cars from Japan anyway. You know, nobody got hurt. People got hurt. I'm saying I think they died quickly though, so I don't- <laughs> People got killed, yeah. I'm sorry you look Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> Thinks her husband's sleeping with Linda Carter. Wonder Woman. That's what we have to figure out. What do you say? <laughs> Wait, tell me there's gonna be a second one. Imagine. Wait, no, it's been like seven years. I loved that movie. Why didn't you guys vote for this? I don't understand. I loved this. So good. All right, guys, let's talk about this. I am so mad at you guys for not voting this movie on the polls. I feel like we have gone through so many movies where I love this genre. I love this type of film. And I tell you guys, hey, vote for this. And you guys freaking didn't. You guys didn't! I had to figure it out for myself! I'm so mad! I'm so upset with you guys right now! What the heck? Maybe I have to just do more polls, and maybe it'll win. It would've won eventually. Maybe. I don't know, I would've kept adding movies to the polls, and you guys were recommending it, it would never win, it'd be an endless cycle. <sighs> anyway, I loved Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe together so much, I didn't realize I needed them in such, like, such a pair. Ryan Gosling's character was so erratic and crazy and unpredictable and silly. Meanwhile, Russell Crowe's character was very stoic, calm, collected, the polar opposite. And they work together so well. I'm so upset there's not like a second movie because this one was so much fun. It was just such a funny concept. And maybe like the story wasn't there. The story was still good though. It's still like entertaining, kept your attention. And I liked it. It's overall just a fun movie, a fun, silly action film that you just really enjoy and I, I thoroughly did. Whenever I thought of Ryan Gosling, I would always think of him as a very like, like drive, drive type of Ryan Gosling. Like he was just very emotionless, just the stare. I love him even more as an actor just because I get to see more of his range now. This was great. I had so much fun. I don't know how many times I got to say it, but this was great. I don't know what to say. I really loved it and I really hope you guys did too. 
please let me know down below um, if you guys have any like fun facts or any recommendations for films very similar to this one. I would love, love, love to see it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone. Oh,